Both Sarah High School coaches have come under fire since this photo of their Halloween costume went public. The picture was taken at an SDSU sporting event. Both coaches were in blackface and said to be dressed up as members of the Jamaican bobsled team in the film Cool Runnings. The offensive costumes have started a public discourse over what crosses the line. Joining me to discuss the issue are Lee Chala Wilson, president of San Diego's NAACP, NAACP and Wendy Patrick, SDSU ethics lecturer. Welcome back. Thank, Thank you. you. Lee Chala, what would you like to see happen to these men now? What I would like, actually, I wish they would contact me because I would like to have some type of di dialogue with them. And I know originally I said they should be fired or dismissed because I do think what they did was very offensive. However, I think having a dialogue is better and maybe they need to take some race, human relations, um, some type of training so that this type of stuff doesn't happen. It's just that I held them at a higher standard because they are teachers and they have an impact on our young students. And when I have young students and parents complaining, I have to take action. And we're going to come back to that. But Wendy, in the broader context of thing, when it comes to Halloween customs, why do you think that some adults feel like they can do what normally would be considered really offensive behavior? They just say, okay. Yeah, you know, we live in a culture where people are famous for being famous. There's this issue of, you know, there's no such thing as bad publicity. We see that in, you know, on Twitter feeds, on all of the, the types of social media where people are freely expressing themselves in ways that nobody ever would have done 50 years ago, even maybe a decade ago. So there's almost this sort of idea that it's okay because everybody does it. And, you know, the more provocative you are, the more press you get, the more attention, maybe you'll become an overnight internet sensation. Some of that, I think, bleeds over into our judgment when we're deciding, for example, what to be for Halloween and who is it going to offend. Okay. And Lynn Chala, um, if these coaches did not intend to offend, um, some people might argue, hey, look, they didn't intend to uh, offend. This is, this is just a joke. Um, why is it still offensive and why is it still wrong? I still don't understand why it's funny. And it doesn't matter whether you intend to offend. You, it's called the discriminatory impact. And you have to realize, even if your intent is not bad, it's the impact on other people. And again, if I have kids and parents who are upset, they didn't think it was funny, and I still cannot understand why they thought it was funny. There's a lot of things you can be for Halloween, and why could they still not bend the bobsledders without blackening their face? We don't like it. We've never liked it. It goes back to over 100 years ago and they should know better. And perhaps, actually what I would like for them to do is first watch, watch the movie Roots. I also want them to read the book called Growing Up in Slavery. In fact, I want to give them a test and see what they've learned. And now maybe that's a little harsh, but it's better than being fired or laid off. Okay, and Wendy, um, do you think because these photos were posted on Facebook, that this made this more offensive. You know, I think that we all should remember we are, as this case illustrates, one phone camera shot away from having some, for, for being known not for our accomplishments or our credentials, but for our ill-advised Halloween costume. And I think part of the, the reason that everybody's talking about incidents like this is, it's not that we just take them and share them with our friends. Everything immediately goes to social media and out to the world. That's one thing we should think through on the front end before we select a costume. And let me just get a quickly from you a few tips. If you had to say the top three tips in selecting a Halloween costume so it doesn't offend. Sure. So you're going to stay away from uh, probably anything having to do with violence or weapons. You're going to stay away from anything that's demeaning to any type of group, whether it's religious, women, racial groups, whatever it is. And thirdly, uh, stay away from controversial issues to begin with, whether it's political figures, um, uh, really politics worldwide because again we're a global society those are really the top three that we find the most complaints being made in those three areas and speaking of complaints Lee Chala you've been hearing a lot from the community about this not just on complaints give me a, a little idea of, of what you're hearing from both sides on this um, there's a lot of people who on one hand I'm getting positive comments they're glad that I did it they found it to be very offensive and then they're telling me there's other, you know, incidents. It's not just at the school, but your know, workplace. So it's just opening up that dialogue. And then, you know, I have the other side, at least some of the emails I've gotten. And I haven't checked our phones lately, and it's probably full, where people think it's ridiculous, it's gone too far, it's just a Halloween costume, and they wanted to know whether or not if two black coaches went in white face, would I find that, you know, should that be offensive? And, and your answer is? I've never seen any black people do whiteface. 
And I don't know if that would be offensive or not, but if that had happened, maybe I would call him on well, it, but it just doesn't the, happen. The cultural history isn't there of, yes. of the mockery on that one. So we've unfortunately run out of time. So uh, Lee Chala Wilson, thank you very much. And Wendy Patrick, thank you. Thank, thank you. you for having us.